In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I'm going to show you Evernote's offering for handwritten notes. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I thought it was only fair that I covered Evernote's offerings for handwritten notes. Now, I actually use the word offerings here simply because Evernote actually has two handwriting note-taking applications that you can use to get your handwritten notes from a Microsoft Surface tablet or an iPad into Evernote. And actually, I've been playing with them this week or last week, and I have to be honest, they have got considerably better than they used to be. Now, by no means are they perfect. I still think Apple Notes and Microsoft OneNote are better, have better handwriting functionality. But if you want to use just Evernote or Evernote and Penultimate, which is their dedicated handwriting application, then you can actually do that. And indeed, like I showed last time, these notes are completely searchable. Now, Penultimate is a little bit confusing at first, but it does work. But Evernote's handwriting tools have certainly got better. I, they need a little bit of upgrading and I'm hoping that with the things that they're doing this year, that's one area that they're going to work on. But anyway, what I wanted to do this week was just to balance things out and I will show you what Evernote has offering for you, uh, for your handwritten notes. And let's be honest, we are moving into a world now where we are going to be completely paperless and that's actually one of my goals this year. So it's something that I'm particularly interested in and Evernote's going to probably be the the foundation of all my handwritten or digitally written notes in the future. So I really want to make sure that this works seamlessly and I may as well share my experiences with you. Okay, let's go into Evernote and Penultimate and I will show you what they have on offer. Okay, so here we have Evernote open and I'm gonna create a new note and we just create a basic note, so click the plus now it's going to come up in the type typing mode so you just need to reduce the typing mode and hit the squiggly line at the bottom and you get this interface so on the pen we've got different colors those are the only colors you can get then we have the highlighter pen and of course eraser and clipper so here we go this is a new note full stop i am in a meeting and I do apologize for this because uh, you can't see my handwriting but the way I hold a pen is so embarrassing I'm not going to show you anymore I showed you that last week okay so we're going to call this a project X meeting and what we have to do is put in the date of course because that's really very important I would normally put this at the top actually I would make this the title which I would type because I don't want any mistakes so here's a way you can just add some notes so we'll just say point one I need to do and let's say uh, ask Gemma to help with the design Z. okay so there we go we got Gemma that's so that's to Evernote's uh, note taking up and you can highlight these you can change the color of the highlighter pen and so on and so forth, which is really very useful and perfectly okay. So it is actually quite useful to use. And once we've done that, that's how we can take notes in Evernote. Now let's go into penultimate now. Um, penultimate is obviously slightly different and I've got one here called at notebook, which at inbox, sorry, which is going to go to my inbox. So all notes I want to go to inbox. So that's the only notebook I would have. Those notebooks rec uh, recognize the notes that you're in. So of course, there's a lot more functionality here and you have this choose the, the pen or the type of paper you want. 
So here we go. This is a penultimate note. Or this, sorry, I should say this is penultimate. Um, so penultimate, I don't real. I never realized just how slow a writer I am. Uh, but I'm trying to make my handwriting so that you can actually read what I'm writing. Normally, I would actually write a lot faster than this. So penultimate is a comprehensive note-taking application. There we go. So that's it. And with penultimate, uh, all you do is just go back. That's now going to go directly to my uh, inbox. I can actually title this. So I'm going to title this, I think, penultimate. So we can see it when it comes into my Evernote. So there we go, penultimate test, and we'll send that over there. Okay, so that's gone into my inbox, and now let's go over to Evernote, and I'll show you how it all looks inside Evernote. Right, so those notes have now come in to my Evernote account, and of course this one was already there because I wrote this directly in Evernote. And as you can see, this actually works very similar to the way that Apple Notes worked, as I showed last week, where it only sends the picture or only keeps the picture of what you've actually written. It doesn't keep, create an A4 sheet of paper. And of course, when I look at this, if we go into note detail, all images have been indexed so that if I do a search and I haven't tested this, so we're going to go blind. If I type in Gemma, let's see what happens and hit return. And sure enough, it's found Gemma for me. So this is completely searchable note, which is great. Now let's have a look at the penultimate one, which is here. Uh, that one also come in. Now the difference with the penultimate one is if you choose a piece of the paper style, as in I did as a lined piece of paper, then that's the way the note's coming in. Now this is something you're either going to love or you hate. But <clears throat> when we tap on it, it's, it's a JPEG image that's come in, if you notice here. And it's... If I just... It's not going to let me type on it. <laughs> um, can we do it this way, this way? Um, but it means, let's just check to see if this is actually searchable. So we're going to note details and all images have been indexed. Now I'm going to type in the word comprehensive. Let's see if we can find that. Comprehensive. Uh, got a spell. Comprehensive. Hit return. And sure enough, it's found that note. So this digital note is also searchable. Now I've tested this up for a while now and I've noticed that PDFs are not as simple as that. PDFs tend to have to depends on how they are saved, if it's an indexed PDF or not. But a JPEG, if you can save it as an image, so a screenshot or an image, then that is the way to go. But these ones that I'm showing you here are the actual note taking applications that Evernote have put together. So this means that if you're wanting to go completely paperless and you don't want to have to carry paper notebooks with you, just carry a tablet, whether it's a Surface uh, tablet or an iPad, then it is perfectly possible to do that using the tools that Evernote provides. So I am now going to apologize to Evernote for being a little bit harsh on them last week. But that said, I still believe that Apple Notes and Microsoft OneNotes applications are much better than these. But if you want to stick with just one app, i.e. Evernote, or willing to use the penultimate, which is an Evernote app, then sure, you can do exactly the same thing. So over the last couple of weeks, I've given you a few options if you're wanting to go paperless. I hope you found these useful. Just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course. And it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 
2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.